Hey, what's up guys? My name is Faison and in this video, I'm going to be going over the basics of size Lupiad Mousetrap Vehicle. If you're new to the channel, I post videos on Science Olympiad every Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday. So if you're interested in Science Olympiad and you want to improve your devices, make sure you hit the subscribe button as well as the notification bell to be updated every single time I post a new video. But with that said, let's get right into it. In the Mousetrap Vehicle event, there's a million different things we could talk about on how you can improve your Mousetrap Vehicle. But like I said in this video, I'm only going to be covering the basics and I'll be divided into three different parts. First, we'll talk about how weight and friction will affect your device. And then we'll move on to talk about some of the mechanical advantages and how you can alter those to make your car go faster or further. And then we'll come back and we'll talk about some more advanced ways you can go about designing your mousetrap vehicle. But first, let's talk about weight and friction. So by far, the most important things you want to measure and make sure you reduce are the weight of your car and the friction it creates while, it's, while your car moves forward. Now, weight obviously is the amount of mass your car has that composes everything and the reason why mass is so important for the mousetrap vehicle event is because your mousetrap vehicle specifically for this year is only powered by one mousetrap if it was a high school division i believe it was two mousetraps but for middle school got one mousetrap and that mousetrap has is the only power or original source of power for the movement of your vehicle so you only have very little amount of energy to propel your car forward to between 9 and 12 meters. So again, very little energy. And the more mass your car has, or the more your car weighs, the more amount of energy is required to overcome that initial burden until it's able to go forward. So the lower your car weighs, the less energy needs to be allocated into overcoming the mass, and that will allow you to go forward. So essentially, by having a lower mass, you have more energy able to propel the car forward, making your car go faster, but also further because you have a little bit more energy. Now, this same explanation applies to friction. Because you have so little energy, the amount of friction your car experiences is going to hinder the speed and distance of your car. If you reduce the friction of your car, then again, your, your less energy will be wasted into heat and you'll be able to use more energy to propel your car to go forward and farther. So really, if you want to improve your mousetrap vehicle, one of the basic things you wanna do is you want to make sure your car weighs very little and you want to reduce the most amount of friction possible. Now, in addition to friction and weight, there's another way that you can alter the distance your car is able to travel as well as the speed of it. And the two main things we'll be focusing on is the uh, axle drive axle diameter to the drive wheel diameter, the ratio of that, as well as the lever arm length. Now, this is a compound lever, and we'll talk about this in a minute, but we'll focus on first the drive axle to drive wheel diameter ratio. So basically what this is, is the diameter or circumference of this, not the, term, the diameter of your drive axle to the diameter of your drive wheel. Now the smaller the ratio between the drive axle to drive wheel is, the more torque your car will have so your car will be able to go faster. Now this is because of something called mechanical advantage. Now mechanical advantage is seen in everyday life. If you have a pair of scissors, you try to cut paper, and that's mechanical advantage. If you are pulling a door, that's mechanical advantage as well. Everything in our life can be seen with mechanical advantage and have some aspects to make things easier to do. So again, mechanical, or put very simply, mechanical advantage is just 
a way of determining how easy you can make a certain movement or motion by using different phys physics concepts. But for specifically mousetrap vehicle in the wheel diameter or wheel axle to wheel diameter ratio, that is really going to what we're going to focus on for the mechanical aspect. So the big, so essentially the bigger your axle is and the smaller your wheels are, the faster your car will go because it has more torque. Energy is being more directly applied from the mousetrap to the wheels in a in more or higher bursts of energy. So you have more torque and you should be able to go a lot faster. The other side of that is that if you have a very thin drive axle and very big wheels like I have right here, you're going to be going a lot further. But that energy you have is going to be dispersed over a greater distance of time. It'll take more time for your mousetrap to use all of its energy. So that means that although you're going a lot farther, you're going to be losing a little bit of time. It'll take you a little bit more time for your car to go the entire distance. So you want to balance between the uh, drive axle diameter and drive wheel diameter to get that perfect balance between the between going fast and farther. Now another aspect of this is the lever arm. Now this is the lever arm, it's that little bar that attaches to the mousetrap. And what the lever arm does is it increases the amount of string you have to pull this drive axle. The longer your lever arm, the more string you have, while the shorter the lever arm, the less string you have. So by having more string, you're essentially increasing the length of time it takes to use all of the mousetrap's energy. But you're also increasing the amount of rotations that are placed on your drive axle and that move your drive wheels. So basically, by having the longer lever arm, you're, yes, you're, you're increasing the length of time it takes for your mousetrap to use all its energy, meaning your car's going slower, but your car will also be able to go a lot further. So in addition to balancing the ratio between the drive axle and drive wheels, you want to focus on the lever arm as well. And you can do, you can find a balance between both of these to make your car be the best that it can possibly be. Now I said I was going to talk about the compound lever arm and other ways you can improve your mousetrap vehicle. And there are some little tricks and tips that you can put into your mousetrap vehicle or at least try to, to improve your car. Now obviously I talked about this compound lever system in some of my other videos which will increase the torque of your car. Uh, it will increase the torque of your car while also allowing you to power these drive wheels to go a lot further. So you're basically getting the best of both worlds. You're getting the most amount of torque from this lever arm while also getting the most amount of string available from it at the same time. So I made a video about this. I'll link that in the description below if you want to learn more. So if you want to learn more about compound levers and how to make them, then make sure you check out the video. But something else you could do is, if you look at these wheels right here, so you, can, I, you see that there are these little cutouts right here. And these were pre-made when I bought these wheels, but if you don't have these, let's say you have CD wheels or you 3D printed your own wheels, then something you might want to consider is making these little spools on these wheels. And that will allow you to reduce weight on your wheels and rotational inertia, which I'm not going to discuss in this video, but I will in a future video. But basically by reducing rotational inertia, these wheels are much easier to rotate and, and you should be able to go faster despite having bigger wheels and a small drive axle. Your wheels should be able to rotate faster while also being able to go further. So those are just a little bit of the things that are advanced techniques you could put into your mousetrap car if you wanted to improve it. If you enjoyed the video, please be sure to leave, hit the like button, and if you haven't already, subscribe to the channel for new Science Olympiad videos every Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday. But with that said, I'll catch you guys next time. Stay unfazed. <laughs>